Before I start this video, I want to point out what you've done, Celeste, for the fundraising for these firefighters is amazing. Uh, and it's a lasting effort for the almost $40 million worth this time, and it's growing um, for what's happening and for support. Uh, and this is not a personal attack, but I hope this really clears some things up um, whilst informing for those of you who don't know. Now, I know raising money is incredibly hard as I raise money uh, for an illness that affects me being brain cancer, yet I continue uh, to serve because I truly believe in what the Australian Army does, or Australian Defence is fantastic. In the height of your fundraiser uh, for the firefighters, whilst the world's spotlight was very much on yourself and your husband, you both shared, then deleted, then reshared uh, in an attempt at trending again a video of your mother-in-law, clearly distressed, making radical and offensive claims about the Australian Defence Force. This video should, rem should be removed, Celeste, and you should really issue an apology for the men and women of the Australian Defence Force. If you were to read the comments from defence mothers, wives, children, husbands that I have of the defence families, and how the loved ones are not there for Christmas, New Year's, like many others, helping alongside the emergency services, and if you did read that and you haven't removed it, then this is an attack on the defence force and an unfactual lie to bring me to your attention. A lot of your supporters have defended the action of this video saying it's not towards the army, the defence or soldiers, it's against leadership. This is clearly wrong. Also saying that she's distressed, which I sympathise with. And I completely get saying comments was in the heat of moment. But not in the heat of moment. You've both reshared the video on a global stage which brings so much wrong information to the Defence Force on an international level. And to the point where I was getting personal attacks and many other soldiers. She goes on to quote, it's right down the Great Dividing Range and it's now right to the, going right to the coast and there isn't one ADF on the ground. This statement is wrong on every level. Thousands of soldiers have been in position or put on notice to move over their leave, brought home to go. Their holidays taken away from family, friends, and in, in one case I was just informed about today, missing a veteran's funeral to help out the Australian public with the fire effort. And every single Australian soldier, defence member, is happy to do this for the Australian public. She goes on to say, we pay $6 billion in hard-earned tax money for them every year. Where are they? Where are they? Firstly, the ADF are not firefighters, they're soldiers. Secondly, they are there. The ADF has always answered the call from a national and international partners when it's needed, every single time. You need to realise that soldiers also pay the exact same tax rate, exact same tax rates as the Australian public, Australian public do. You don't own them. You know what they'll do? When the Prime Ministers from some other country come here, they'll show up and put in the best show for them. But we are down here. You know what some soldiers do? They go to war for you. They die for you. You'll never know their name or their task, yet you'll reap all the safety, freedom and benefits of this grants. Never in history have Australian sol soldiers seeked attention. It's actually the exact opposite. My final statement. Before criticising the Defence Force, you need to learn the facts. Stop thinking about all those men and women who over more than 100 years have given their holidays, times, days, years, their health and their life for this nation with no questions ever asked, answering the call. To give a future to defend our nation at home and abroad. A veteran is someone who once wrote a blank cheque made payable to Australia for an amount up to and including their life. Whose stories were never been told, who sacrificed it all for you to live in a safe, and free democracy. Some of the comments I've seen are disgusting, made from people who have never signed this dotted line, yet will enjoy all the benefits. So as I urge you to think, some of the comments made of a video that you have shared that has been viewed millions upon millions of times, from the point of view or if you lost a loved one overseas, how you'd feel about those comments about the Australian soldiers just wanting to look good on a global stage. It's not that at all. I urge us in this time not to get political, but to unite. Thank you very much.